Welcome to The Compiler, a daily curation of tech news. Let's get into it. Let's dive into some cutting-edge tech developments that are reshaping the landscape for developers and engineers. First up, we got RGFW, a single-header C99 window abstraction library that's turning heads. This lightweight cross-platform solution is all about simplicity and performance. If you're working on graphics-intensive projects or just need a lean window creation tool, RGFW might be worth a look. It's designed to cut through the complexity often associated with window management, letting you focus on your core application logic. Shifting gears to the world of browser extensions, there's been some insightful discussion among successful extension developers about growth strategies. The key takeaways? Focus on solving a genuine problem, leverage organic discovery through app stores, and don't underestimate the power of word of mouth. Many developers found success by targeting niche audiences and gradually expanding. It's not just about the code. Understanding your user base and marketing effectively can make or break your extension success. On the AI front, MIT researchers have developed a new approach to training AI agents that promises improved reliability and efficiency. This method, called reward-free learning, allows agents to explore their environment more thoroughly before being trained on specific tasks. The result? Agents that are more adaptable and perform better across a range of scenarios. If you're working on reinforcement learning projects, this could be a game changer for reducing training time and improving overall agent performance. For those knee-deep in Java development, there's a fresh take on writing efficient unit tests. The focus is on best practices that not only ensure code quality, but also optimize test execution time. Key points include keeping tests independent, using appropriate assertions, and leveraging mocking frameworks judiciously. Remember, well-crafted unit tests are an investment in your code's long-term maintainability and reliability. Database developers, listen up. There's an interesting deep dive into implementing extensible SQL parsers using parsing expression grammars, PEG. This approach allows for runtime extension of SQL syntax, which can be crucial for databases that need to support custom or domain-specific language features. The article walks through the implementation details, including how to handle operator precedence and resolve ambiguities in the grammar. Switching to system administration, there's a fascinating exploration of some surprising code execution sources in Bash. Did you know that your PS1 prompt can potentially execute code? Or that certain environment variables can lead to unexpected command execution? These insights are crucial for hardening your shell environments and avoiding potential security pitfalls. In mobile AE news, Google is gearing up to integrate its Gemini AI model directly into Android apps. This move could significantly expand the capabilities of on-device AI, potentially allowing for more sophisticated voice commands, text generation, and even code completion within mobile applications. It's a development worth watching for anyone working on Android projects or interested in mobile AI integration. On the hardware front, Linux kernel 6.13 is bringing some noteworthy improvements. There's a new AMD driver optimizing 3 dv cache usage, which could boost performance for certain workloads. Additionally, scheduler enhancements are improving performance on NUMA systems, which is great news for those working with high-performance computing clusters or multi-socket servers. Lastly, let's talk security. Russian hackers have demonstrated a new technique for jumping between networks via Wi-Fi in what's being called an unprecedented attack. This sophisticated method allowed them to move laterally through multiple organizations' networks, highlighting the importance of robust Wi-Fi security measures. In related news, Palo Alto Networks has reported that hackers have compromised over 2,000 firewalls using newly discovered zero-day vulnerabilities in their Panos firewall operating system. If you're responsible for network security, it's time to check your patches and review your firewall configurations. Thanks for listening. For more, please visit thecompiler.io.